Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to class this week. This short little video is meant to help anybody who might need some assistance getting Go React set up on their accounts on Canvas. All right, so just jumping right in here, in order to even be able to do anything that I'm talking about, you're going to need access to our course textbook, okay? If you haven't already bought the book, which you should have, you need to have a new copy of this book. And the reason for that is, as you'll see here, there's a little code on the first page here. Okay, you can't, you know, graininess in my camera video, I apologize, but that little code there is something that you need to be able to access the product Go React in our class this semester. Now, if you bought a book used already, which is totally fine, it happens, and I recommend, you know, saving money where you can, um, you will need to sign up for a separate subscription to Go React for our class. And it just means that you'll end up tacking a little bit extra on onto what you purchased for the book already. Okay, so, and I will show you how to do that in this video here in a moment. But give me a quick second here to get my screen shared. All right, so in order to make Go React work, first and foremost, the thing I have to say is do not go to goreact.com. I will repeat that another time. Do not go to goreact.com. By trying to log in to goreact.com, um, you're going to end up being greeted with a bunch of options, a bunch of things. And ultimately, when you try to find my class, they'll say it either doesn't exist or that you need to be signed up specially for it. Going through goreact.com does not work. Okay. Instead, the way that you access Go React is coming to our Canvas shell. Okay, and coming over to our assignments or modules, I'll show you how to find it in both. Assignments, you can see we've got a bunch of different assignments and some of them have Go React on them, okay? Those are the official links for you to record your Go React videos for this class. Those are the official submissions that you make. Now, for those of you that are following along week by week in your modules, you will find that you have speech modules that are set up and you'll notice that the same assignment, Go React, that we saw a moment ago in assignments can be found under these speech modules. So either way you access them, click into that, and you'll be greeted with our assignment page. Now to get to Go React, you need to come down to this little button here. This is a link that takes you to a special form of Go React within our Canvas shell. Okay, it specifically helps you get to Go React within our Canvas shell. Now, some of you, I'll be honest, I don't know why, but sometimes it won't even ask you for a code and it'll just let you in here. If that's the case, kudos to you, you got lucky and it'll probably end up asking you for a code later on throughout the semester at some point. But for now, don't worry, the hard part's done. Now all you need to do is start your assignment where you can record and submit your official speech video. Okay, for those of you though, who do not get that lucky and it does not just pop up, you will likely be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. Okay, and you can see that it says activate your access. It gives you a bunch of different choices. Um, you're gonna want to go with the middle one, redeem an access code, and you will enter your code in and you'll want to use all lowercase letters and no dashes between the letters, even though they might be that way in your book, lowercase letters, no dashes, okay? And it'll work. Now, for those of you who it does not work, however, you are out of luck. I don't know why this happens sometimes with Go React, but it does. Your textbook and the code with it does not give you access to the Go React for our class. You will need to call this support number down here. I assume that their hours are the regular business hours, the eight to five, you know, in US time. So make sure that you do your Go React well in advance so you have enough time to be able to call customer support in the event that you need to. Okay, most of you though, this should work and you should have no troubles, but those of you who need to call, that number is right down there. And within 10, 15 minutes, they should be able to get you squared away and signed up for the class. Okay, so overall, this is how you use Go React. A couple other things I'll show you just for the sake of helping you. In each of our speech modules, you'll notice in the resources at the bottom, there's a Go React speech practice button. When you click into Go React from that button, it'll take you to a special module that is set aside for you to practice using Go React on your own before your official live videos. I would highly recommend that you use and practice your speeches in this module. Only you and me can see your videos in this practice module. 
And I promise you, I don't really care to look at your practice attempts of your videos. I've got better things to do with my time than I think you would hope I do. And so this is a good place for you to practice learning how to use GoReact, learning how to make the buttons work, learning how to put your slides that you might be using with your speech, learning how to make sure to start and stop your speech so you don't accidentally close it on your live attempt. This GoReact speech module found under each of the speech modules is where you want to go to practice because on your official, and let me just get there to show again, on your official speeches, when you go to these links, these are set aside for a one time only recording. You do not get a second chance. And when you click start assignment and you click continue, it will immediately start recording your speech and you get one attempt. So you do not want to accidentally click or start the wrong thing or accidentally end your video early. So you're going to want to practice around a little bit. Okay. That is what that practice module here under your speech modules is for. Okay, so with that being said, that wraps up um, that wraps up our official little quick tutorial for how to run GoReact. Um, I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck on your presentations and have a good day.